now it's snowing. We'll have a white Christmas this year. I'm so excited. The children are very excited like me. Ah, but why does that old man look so gloomy? A Christmas Carol. In a city in England, there lived a stingy old man named Scrooge. Christmas was a day away, but only he continued working. <laughs> Why are they so happy about Christmas and making such a big fuss like that? Darn, it's just so noisy. Then his nephew Fred came into the office. Merry Christmas, Uncle. Ah, humbug! What reason do you have to be merry? You are so poor that you don't even have food to eat. Oh, come on, Uncle. Just please come and have dinner with us tomorrow. It's Christmas, you know. Instead, Scrooge got angry and kicked Fred out of his office. In the middle of the night. Scrooge woke up with the sound of steel chains dragging on the floor. What is this noise? Oh my! You are Marley, aren't you? It was none other than Scrooge's dead friend, Marley. Marley's ghost looked horrible, with chains wound all around his body. These chains are punishment for the sins that I committed when I was alive. Soon, three ghosts are going to visit you. Please, don't make the same mistakes as me. Marley, what do you mean? Marley made a mysterious remark and disappeared. A little later, as a bell rang out at midnight, a ghost appeared before Scrooge. Oh, who, who are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Come with me, please. Uh, no, no, I don't want to go. Why are you bothering me? No. The ghost of Christmas past took Scrooge to some place. They went to a room where a boy was reading a book. Th that, that's me. Do you remember when you were a boy? You like to read books, and you are full of dreams. Ah, that's right. I loved the story, Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves. <sighs> I wasn't born a miser. Shall we now move on to another place? She has a good husband now, and has a happy life. When Scrooge was younger, money was more important to him than his loved one. So he broke up with Belle. Honey, I met your old friend Scrooge today. He was working alone in his office, even on Christmas Day. I feel so sorry for him. <laughs> oh, take me back home, please, please! Oh. 
When he opened his eyes, Scrooge found himself in his room. <sighs> yes, it was just a dream. Just then, another ghost appeared. Who is it this time? Why do you appear before me and bother me? I am the ghost of Christmas present. All of this is for you. Please come with me. The ghost of Christmas present also took Scrooge to another place. This time, Scrooge was taken to his nephew's house. Fred's family was having supper. Will Uncle Scrooge come tomorrow? I don't like him. He scares me. You shouldn't say that. Let's pray for him. Dear God, I want you to please look over my Uncle Scrooge. He is not the bad man that everybody thinks he is. Amen. Scrooge had tears in his eyes while looking at Fred's family praying for him. <laughs> that poor family is worrying about me. But they care for you and love you more than anyone else on Earth. <laughs> I don't need that. I just want money. Money! Money! Scrooge woke up from shouting loudly in his dream. He looked at the clock, and it was two o'clock in the morning. Once more, a third ghost appeared before him. Where are you going to take me? To your future! The third ghost was the ghost of Christmas future. Scrooge and the ghost of Christmas future headed to another place. Scrooge went to a grave with the ghost of Christmas future. Mm -hmm. He was so stingy and in the end, he died all alone. Really? What is the use of having lots of money? It's useless once you die. Scrooge was shocked listening to the people. Scrooge walked near the gravestone. His name was carved on the stone. <laughs> No! <laughs> How could I die like this? Go! This is a dream, isn't it? Please tell me this is not real. Please! This is your future. This is what you have created. Scrooge cried and cried endlessly, sitting by his grave. Scrooge woke up from crying loudly in his dream. The warm sunshine was coming through the window. Oh! Thank God! It was a dream! A dream! Just a dream! <laughs> Scrooge was so happy. The people on the streets were wishing each other a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! I wish you a Merry Christmas! Ha ha ha! Scrooge gladly greeted a couple that was passing by. Isn't that man Scrooge? Yes, what happened to him? The people were very surprised to see Scrooge greeting them with a smile. Scrooge stopped by a market 
and bought a big, tasty turkey. Scrooge went to Fred's house with the big turkey. Huh? Uncle Scrooge? Fred, Merry Christmas. I've brought a turkey. May I eat this with your family? Of course. Come in. Scrooge had a very Merry Christmas with Fred's family. You're welcome. You be a good child. Merry Christmas. Grandfather Scrooge! <laughs> easy, easy. You might fall down. Since that Christmas, Scrooge has lived a happy life helping poor people. Good! I was worried that Scrooge would care only about money and spend Christmas alone. Grandfather Scrooge, please save some presents for me, Moya, okay? <laughs> <laughs>